This video will cover the BioCube stock light and the sample schedule. The BioCube includes a built-in light fixture in the hood. There are three programmable light settings. This is channel 1, or daylights, with mostly white light. This is channel 2, which includes some red light as well as actinic and is often referred to as beauty lights. This is channel 3. It includes only blue and violet spectrum and is often called actinic lighting. You can control how many hours a day each of these channels is on. Here's a sample schedule. Channel 1 on for 4 hours, channel 2 for 8 hours, and channel 3 for 12 hours. Note the channels should overlap. So let's build up. Channel 3, for example, could be on for 12 hours a day from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Channel 2 then would be on from noon until 8 p.m., overlapping with channel 3. Channel 1 would be on from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m., overlapping both channel 3 and channel 2. Here's a summary of the schedule. It's important that these overlap so that you maximize the PAR, or photosynthetic active radiation, entering your tank. Your fish and corals have no idea what the actual time of day is, so you can adjust the schedule to when you will be home and most likely to enjoy the tank. In my tank, I use the following schedule. I have channel 1 on from 3 to 7 p.m., channel 2 from 2 to 10, and channel 3 from 1 p.m. until 1 a.m. The hours don't have to be evenly spaced. The BioCube will fade in for a half an hour before and a half hour at the conclusion of your daily schedule. Let's talk about what's actually underneath the lighting hood. If you remove 10 screws from the outside of this plastic cover and gently remove it, you'll be able to access the hardware underneath. The LED board itself has three different types of LEDs integrated into it and spreads across the top of the tank, which yields a very good spread of light. It includes a handful of reds, actinic blue, and bright white LEDs. The control circuit board has a battery built in that is capable of remembering the schedule that you input and operating the board for each hour of the day. This silver piece here is actually a battery and it is possible to remove it and that's what enables the circuit board to remember your inputs. There is a small computer type fan that's underneath and is supposed to help control the temperature inside of the circuit board and the LED fixture. I personally found mine to be very loud and actually removed it. This is what the hood looks like with all of the hardware removed. 